My name is John Jacob Curia. You're very much welcome to the broadcast. And the political future of Kericho Governor Eric Mutai will now be determined by the Senate after the county assembly impeached the governor. 31 members of the assembly voted to remove him from office on grounds of gross violation of a constitution and gross misconduct. The county assembly impeached the governor despite a court order uh, that had uh, barred the assembly uh, from holding the imp or impeachment proceedings uh, for that matter. The court order blocking the county assembly from debating the impeachment proceedings are reported to have been received at the county assembly after the fact. Sigobet Ward MC Ekiprotich Rogoni pushed through with the Ulster motion despite a section of the MCAs who had signed the impeachment motion opting to stay away from the chambers. Rogoni laid the grounds of impeachment against Mutai accusing the former university don of gross violation of a constitution, abuse of office and misuse of public resources. For this country to progress, for this country to prosper, for us to even get the much needed own for the revenue, for us to be able to discharge the mandate of this country, then this governor must come to the speaker. You find in the governor, instead of uh, providing us money, allocating money, to stop this high rate of development cases. He is busy leaving the team. Yeah. We used to collect five million an hour. As we are speaking now, we are not even getting one million. While the governor was expected to appear in person to mount his defense, he opted to send his counsel, Kato Kigen. It is our position, therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, that uh, in the face of the order, uh, this proceeding should be halted. However, if at the end of the court proceedings and at the end of uh, the judge decides that this matter should come back here, we will be relying on that statement and we will not be forgoing his right to defend himself. And when the Speaker called for a vote, 31 members voted to remove him from office. Uh, of the governor of the Richard County, Honorable Dr. Eric Pekwere Mutai by Pekwere has been supported by two parts of the members of the county assembly. I therefore declare that the motion is passed and the governor, Dr. Eric Pekwere Mutai, stands in peace. The Kericho County Assembly Speaker is expected to write to the Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Kingi, informing him of the decision to impeach the governor. The Senate, once notified of the decision, will choose to hear both sides, either through a special committee or in plenary, and later dismiss or uphold the impeachment. Mutai is the second governor post-2022 elections to face senators after Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza, who has had two of her impeachments dismissed and one upheld.